my favorite car I've ever driven. So I'm gonna attempt to find some things that I don't like about it and this may prove to be completely impossible. So first off, the new GT3 does not come with the option of a manual transmission. And while I understand the reasoning behind having the PDK as standard, it's faster, it's gonna do better around the track, I do think that a lot of enthusiasts would have preferred having the option. Yes, it might be slower, but for some, it might be more fun. Now, the issue is, I guess Porsche might be responding with a 911R, which could be the GT3 with the manual transmission. So if you were to buy one of these right now, I'd be a little nervous thinking that somewhere down the line, you might have the same car with the manual transmission. And no doubt about it, that car is gonna skyrocket in value. Another problem with the GT3 is not actually the GT3, but the other cars that Porsche makes, the Cayman GT4 and the GT3 RS. Of course, the RS is way, way more expensive now with, my gosh, the markup that these things are going for, $400,000, um, they're becoming absolute gold. But the GT4 is more reasonably priced, and they're actually starting to go up in value as well. They're supposedly even more connected to the road. They, of course, have a manual transmission. So a lot of enthusiasts are gobbling these cars up, selling their GT3s for the Cayman GT4. So I would suggest if you're interested in buying a GT3, you'd wanna drive both to make sure you don't drive the GT3 and instantly think, oh man, should I have gotten the GT4? The last issue is if you buy a GT3, there is a chance it might catch on fire. Some of these have gotten so hot, they caught fire. Now, Porsche has recalled 800 engines and replaced them free of cost, which is very nice. But there was a bit of a mix-up uh, with that. Some people were actually compensated by Porsche while their cars were away. That's awesome. Some people in the US averaged about $2,000 a month, $2,000 a month just because their car was in the shop. The issue was not everybody was compensated the same. People in Germany were offered up to $6,000 a month. That is crazy. And people in the UK were left with absolutely nothing. So while I applaud Porsche's um, job at, at trying to compensate people, it should have been standard across the board. But there you go, there's three issues not even really issues <laughs> with the GT3. They're all solvable except for the manual option. Um, it really doesn't need a manual and if you really, really want one, then wait for uh, if the 911R comes out. Hope you found this video informative. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Look forward to seeing you next video. Slow down.